All right, everybody, this is Craig with Single Length School, and one of the new things that we're bringing to the channel is we're going to work with Zach here, and you can see Zach on the screen here in a moment, but uh, we're going to work with Zach, and I'm going to show you guys how I get people started with single length irons. A lot of you guys ask for tips all the time, and you know, Zach's got his own channel. I'll let you tell a little bit about that, Zach, here um, when I get you rolling, but uh, so we're going to give you guys a sneak peek at how I work with students and get some people over to the single length or one length idea. So uh, Zach, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about what you do, your golf background, and a little bit about your channel and what you're going to help me with. All right. Sounds good. So golf, I've loved it since I was a little kid. If my dad was home, we were on the golf range. You know, when I was five, I could hit a ball 50 yards. So I loved it then. Took a long break into my teens. Um, I had a you know, late uncle that was a golf pro. And so if we were together, we were also golfing. Um, so I loved that, mostly on the range. I've probably only played a dozen rounds in my life, but I love it. So I'm athletic. I train a lot. I have good athletic ability, but my skill level here is probably not the greatest. So um, I'm excited to kind of get into this a little, little bit. and. The one length makes sense to me because I'm, you know, very, uh, I don't know if you want to say science-based, but I don't want to have to learn 14 swings. I like the idea of cutting that down a little bit, so that'll be good. Um, but my channel, I, I run Muscular Style. I talk about menswear, um, and really it's, it's men's muscular man lifestyle. So I talk a little bit about training, and I talk a little bit about style. So I actually do have some golf videos coming out for, like, getting stronger as a golfer and helping – you know, improve your swing speed and drive length, things like that. Uh, but I, I cover training and then I also cover style and I'll have some, you know, golf style videos coming out in the future as well. So. Awesome. Um, yeah. And I'm looking forward to working with you on your channel and, uh, you know, bulking up a little bit here and, yeah. you know, add some meat to the skinny frame. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. I've been looking at Bryson DeChambeau. He, he's done some pretty impressive stuff that way. We won't, Probably won't throw 40 pounds on you, but we'll get some muscle and some strength. <laughs> All right. So, um, you know, I, I've seen your swing a little bit, but you're yeah. really just starting to get into the one length. Um, yeah. So yeah. one of the things, uh, and, you know, we talked a little bit about prior to recording it, is you kind of getting back into the game here a little bit. You're, you're still not quite sure on how far each club goes. Yes. Yeah which the Arcos is kind of nice. I've only played one round of it, so that hasn't done that. But I absolutely have no idea what each one of these is going to go. So Okay, great. And, and so for everybody that's watching, you know, the, this, you know, Zach's an experienced golfer to an extent, but we're really looking at it as a fresh golfer in this aspect. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Fast swing ahead. speed, but no, no skill. <laughs> okay, good. So we're, we're going to work over the course of a few weeks and, you know, film some of these sessions and then I'm going to give you homework just like school and uh, yeah. we're, we're going to get you there and get you, get you a game and make everything as easy as possible for you. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. So first things first, uh, why don't you hit two or three balls and let everybody see your swing as it goes right now. Okay. Sounds good. And this is the seven. I don't know what the rest are, but. I know this is a seven, so oh. started off great. Chunked that really badly. Didn't go anywhere. That one pretty good, pretty straight. About one seventy-five ish maybe. a little to the left yeah probably about 190 ish okay just short of the 200 but past 175 all right hit one more for me that was a slice we're looking at about 150 ish okay so what we're going to do today is all i want to do is fix a couple things and I'm not worried about left or right right now. I'm worried about consistent contact. Let's get you consistent contact across all the clubs, or at least get you started on that path. And then, you know, next week, we'll see where that's at. 
and we'll start to work on different things right and left and straightening things out. But um, so I want you to keep seven iron in your hand. And uh, do you have a, is there a tea floating around on the ground somewhere? Um, no, but I've got a bag of them. Yeah, just grab one tea for me. Okay, what I want you to do is um, take your stance like you were going to hit that ball. And then mark with the T where your front foot is. Just put it right on the outside of your front foot. Okay. Yep, like that. All right. So now because you're an athletic build, your, your stance is good. But what I want you to do is just with your club, take that ball and slide it back back so it's actually a little past halfway in your stance like slide it towards your back foot okay yep like that right in there okay. and then what i want you to do is go ahead and set up like you're going to swing okay. and then what just put like 70 percent of the weight on your front foot just kind of shift there you go a little bit now nice and smooth swing for me Okay. Chunked it a little bit, but that was nice. Okay. okay. So Same position. Back a little bit. 70% of the weight on the front. Yep. Okay. That was a little shorter. Okay. What I want you to try on this one yeah. is try and keep your legs still. Like still, okay. Yeah, so put the seventy per put seventy percent towards your front foot, and then try not to move anything but your upper body. Okay. As a shot putter, so that's a little uh, <laughs> yeah, natural I, I for me. <laughs> okay. All right. So here. Better. That looked like better contact. It wasn't bad. No, no, that was it was good. The height wasn't great, but that was I was better. I didn't chunk it nearly as bad. <laughs> And, and that's okay, but we, we want to try and do the same thing. If we need to adjust the height, we can. Um, okay. But for those watching at home, he's still working with a seven iron. We're just trying to get this set up good to go. Okay. Our back, 70%. And just my body. Okay. That was much better. Yeah. And, and so since we started, you know, we, we moved it back. So the first couple swings without moving it back, you, I think you took four. I think two or three of them were fat. Yeah. We moved it back. There was one fat one. Now we've shifted the weight and keeping that lower body still. You haven't hit one fat yet. Okay. So all we're doing is working on this contact. So go ahead one more time with this setup. Beautiful. Exactly. All right, so that's your seven iron. Now yeah. what everybody at home, everybody watching didn't see is right before we started, I asked you to do something a little crazy. <laughs> What'd you do for me, Zach? Well, uh, just before the camera, I've got all my clubs lined up. The numbers are down, so I can look at them and kind of maybe guess what they are, but I have no idea. So exactly. I, know wedges. I, I know what those are. Yeah. So here, here's the thing, guys, and, you know, some of the videos I've put out there, one of the things I tell you guys, especially ones that are coming into single length or one length from, you know, years of golf with variable length is you've got to get over a mental hurdle of having that ball position in, you know, where everybody's told you for 20 years to put a ball for your four iron or your five iron, because next thing you know, that ball's the whole way through your stance for each club. So, this drill, Zach's got all his irons lined up. He can't see what numbers they are. What I want you to do, Zach, is just put the seven down, randomly grab a club, and do not look at the bottom. Just pick it up and get ready to hit. All right, and then go ahead, get back in your position, put that front foot on the tee. I want that ball, again, back in your stance, exact same way we had for the seven. A little bit further, because you're still, there you go. Okay. Now, 70% to that front foot. 
Keep that bottom still and nice smooth swing. Okay, well that's definitely more lofted, that's not 210. <laughs> that's okay. We don't need to know what it is. What we're doing is trying to build that consistency across each club in the set. Okay. Looking good? Yeah. You want more bend, more straight, or does that matter? Just whatever's natural. I, I mean, whatever's natural, as long as you've got, like, roughly 70% on that front. That was awesome. Same, uh, same area as that last one. It's just that consistency. Yep. I guess one question I have is we have people putting the club different places for way back here or right here. Does that matter at all? Is that just personal preference? I, it, I mean, it's personal preference. Most guys react generally better with the club closer. Occasionally, some guys will like it further back. I mean, that's personal preference. It's As long as your setup's the same, I, I don't care. We're just building consistency. Okay. So what I want to point out, Zach, is did you hit any of those clubs fat at all? No, not at all. Did they all feel solid? Yeah, they did. And all the – my divots are moving up to right in front of the ball instead of two inches behind the ball. Perfect. So let's go ahead and randomly select another club. Yep. And, by the way, what club was that? Oh, that was my – six iron. Six iron? Did not know that. <laughs> you didn't know that. Now, in terms of flight, where was your six iron compared to the seven? A little bit more? A little bit more, yeah. The six was about 210. The seven was about, it was between 175 and 200. So probably like 180, 185. Okay, and that's fine. This club, same thing. Same setup. That weight forward, nice smooth swing. Any heat back on ball flight, or are you just watching the swing mostly? I, I just want – I'm watching the swing right now. We'll talk after. That was better. Top one. That's okay. Keep that. Keep those legs nice and nice and balanced, nice and smooth. Don't move those legs too much. That was pretty. That was a good one. And give me one more. All right, what club is that? That is my pitching wedge. Pitching wedge? How'd it feel? It felt good. It felt a lot better than I played on Saturday and felt a lot better than then, so that was good. Okay. Now, what were you getting more height on that? Uh, a couple of them, yeah. A couple of them, no. Um, two of them I hit really solid, and it was a lot higher. It was beautiful. It was about 150, 160, so okay. and a lot more consistent. So that okay. was good. So let, let's stop and kind of take a look here real quick at what we've just hit. We've hit six, seven in pitching wedge. Yep. Okay. Since we made those couple tweaks to your stance and putting that ball in that same position, getting that weight forward, mm -hmm. you haven't hit one fat at all. No. Uh -huh. How often do you normally hit one fat before we did this? Um, on my game, I it was probably 50%. Like, I've been excited about the Arcos, so my ranges on there are – Anything from like for pitching wedge, for example, from like 70 to 165, just because 
I hit so many fat. So it's probably a good 50%. All right. So you didn't hit one fat since we made those tweaks. <laughs> nope, uh, you might have topped one and that's okay. Yeah. But we didn't hit any fat. Yeah. All right. Good. So what I want you to do is let's go ahead, pick up another club, yep. randomly pick it up, and let's hit some more. That and I, while you're setting, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. While you're setting that up, how, in terms of consistency, left to right, how's it look so far? Um, I would say seventy percent, sixty percent are a little right, about ten percent are a little left, and the rest are about dead straight. So I'm mostly going to the right. Okay, if you were to put a grid from your furthest right to your furthest left. How many yards do you think from furthest right to furthest left right now? Um, so to the right off of center, maybe 30 yards, and to the left off of center, maybe 10. So maybe like a 40-yard spread total. 40-yard spread, but most of them are kind of yeah. going to the right. Okay. Yep. All right, so yep. we'll, like I said, next week we'll work right to left and kind of straightening it out. But okay. right now, let's contact, contact, contact. Okay, that's good. A little, like, that's a ball width maybe back of center. That yep, and, and that's yeah. that's good. Good. You got a nice divot, but that was ball first. Okay. I set up just a little too close last time. Mm. My mistake did not put the weight on the front foot. Yep. And I lifted my head, so. There you go. A little lower flight on that one, but. Yep, but yeah. that one went a little more right. Okay. Uh, it wasn't too far off, but yeah, it was probably 20 30 yards shorter than the other okay. go ahead and hit this one and then uh, let me know what club that is that is my gap wedge good <laughs> let's do uh let's go ahead and do one more club And let's hit uh, four more with another random club for me. Yeah. See me there, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Topper. A little, yeah, a little thin. A little yeah. Thin. It went probably 100 yards, but not, keep, not a good edge. That, that's all right. Keep those legs still. Keep them steady. Okay. A little better. Not quite great contact, but a little better. Looks like he's actually the same as the last one. Okay. a lot better good all right so what club is that it's my five iron five iron okay mm -hmm. all right so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and um i'm going to kind of give you a couple things i want you to work on um okay. i want to show you one more tip that you can work on this next week okay and and this way you know you can work on this the next week, even take it out on the course a little bit if you need to, but especially on the range or even at home, you can do this drill. Okay. So grab three tees, one club, and one ball for me. Three tees, one club, and one ball. All right, so first things first is take your normal stance like you were going to hit the ball. 
All right, so put a T on the outside of your front foot and outside of the back foot. Okay. All right. Then put, a uh, put your ball down and set it up like you would be ready to hit it. So a little bit further back, there you go. Now put that other tee on the, just on the outside of that ball. This. Yep, you can actually go a little bit further for me, just a little bit, so okay. you don't hit it. And okay. then you can actually move the ball out of the way. So now what you've got is you've got a location where your ball should be mm -hmm. and a location where your feet should be. Mm -hmm. Now, all you've got to do is move that weight 70% to that front foot and just take practice swing after practice swing. Okay. <laughs> Hit the tee. There we go. Yep. Okay. There you go. I'm going to do this. So I'm starting 70% here. I'm not yep. moving my torso. I feel it shifting. Is that should it be, so should it be shifting? Your, or your, I... your torso and your shoulders are going to twist. And when they twist, it's going to feel like you're going backwards. The key is to keep that, try and keep the legs still. If you can keep the legs still, you're going to make solid contact every time. So, um, yeah, if you just do this drill over and over again, and then when you get time to get out to the range, if you do just the drill we're working on and work your way the whole way through all the other clubs, what you're mm -hmm. going to do is ingrain it in your body and get over that. I've got to move the ball position issue that I see a lot of guys come up, uh, come up to. Okay. So just work on this time after time. And then when you can get out to the range, you can go through the clubs just like we did. And you can even set up like this, just put a ball in the position where the T is. And you okay. can even leave it marked with the T, but just put a ball there and start hitting the balls. Okay. All right, so that's your homework for the next week is just work on building this swing, getting into that consistent setup, and getting into, you know, the consistent contact. Okay. Um, so that, that's my tips. Um, you know, I guess for everybody watching, um, tell them how you feel right now, what you found about your game, how you feel after, you know, a, a quick – 30 minute session yeah um so corrected a lot of like i i love researching so i've listened to you know tens and hundreds of hours of golf stuff over the years but over the past month or so i've listened to a lot and that was a lot different than what i had read and heard which is more individual to me and maybe to the one length so it's it feels odd because it's not what i've been practicing but the contacts there the consistency is there so it's obviously working a lot better than what I was doing. So I'm going to practice a bit more. But I think, I think being able to switch to that helps because my past sports, I mean, I'm a lot of twisting here, a lot of moving my legs, and that's the issues you see. And so I think um, having that drill, I think, will really help the consistency a lot. So I like that. Okay. Awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Zach and I will be back next week with a, another video. Um, we'll see how Zach, we'll get a refresher, uh, and see how you did this week, get some results. Um, and then we'll jump into the next thing we need to work on next week. But, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks a lot, Zach. And, uh, we'll see you guys next week.